We were going to do selfie together? Say hi. Want to do selfie? Yes. <gasps> selfie? All right. Now, a new trick. Sadie, look. Selfie. Selfie. Good girl. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to mind her own. I've been in Leadville about a week already, and in my walks, I discovered what is the absolute perfect campsite in a meadow with a view of the mountains. It's a dead end, so there won't be any traffic. And for the four or five days that I was walking over there, there was never anybody there. So when I went into town today, I didn't want to pack up right away until I needed to. So I went in to resupply today and came back and there is somebody there. So I'm right down the road. This spot's not too bad either. And maybe when the person who's over there leaves, maybe I'll pack up and go over there, but I'm in no hurry. I kind of like this spot too with the big rock. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> Gimme, gimme, Funny that I go to the desert in the winter for summer and now I'm in the mountains in the summer and it feels like winter <laughs> oh by the way Sadie got me yesterday we were playing and her claw got me yeah it really hurts too but yeah I'm teaching her how to hug me we're learning all kinds of new tricks just to keep her mentally stimulated she speaks really well she counts to three yeah. Actually, you want to see? Come here, Sadie girl. That's a good girl. Can you sit? Yes. Speak. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. You don't have to speak. Um, okay, jump. Good girl. I have a theory. Sorry, my screen is foggy. I can fix it, but it kind of adds to the... Um, um, the, what am I looking for? The theme? No. The environment? No. Uh, you know the word. It kind of adds to the, it's, you know, foggy and rainy. So the scenery? No. Anyway, I have a theory. Sometimes she doesn't want to speak. I think that it's a survival thing, right? If she speaks, it alerts other predators that she's here. And especially since we just heard something and her haunches were up, she didn't want to speak. And I've noticed that sometimes. When we're inside, she's totally fine, usually. But sometimes she just, she'll go, she'll mouth it, but no sound will come out. I think it's a survival thing. I think it's instincts. She's a smart girl. Doesn't this remind you of Christmas?
it makes me want to be here in the winter. <laughs> really, like when it's covered in snow. Can you imagine how peaceful and beautiful it'll be? Oh my gosh. I can see Christmas though, can't you? Hi! Hello, Leadville, Colorado. Wow, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I love being at 10,000 feet. I, I'll take this weather any day over 90s or higher. I like it here. Just missed a big thunder boomer. <laughs> my favorite weather. Welcome to my camp slash my temporary home. I think I forgot to show you around. There's my seating area over there. <laughs> Where on a nice day I might sit out and read in my chair or swing in my hammock. My clothesline. It's how I wash my Just wait for it to rain. And over here is the road that I came in on. And my lovely 24 foot Class C RV 2004, which is my home. Welcome to my camp. Welcome to my home. And this is my fearless and amazing co-pilot and best friend, Sadie. Sadie's nine months old. <laughs> Hi, little girl. And this is the love of my life. The day is cool enough for my oven, so I think I'm going to roast up some sweet potatoes. And I think I'm going to make a uh, stovetop sweet potato black bean casserole for dinner. Does that sound good or what? Yeah, black beans and sweet potatoes are like one of my favorite food combinations. I love them, and you can really do quite a, quite a bit with them. Salads, casseroles, tacos. So let's see how it turns out. I'm using avocado oil because it's a high temperature oil that doesn't, I think like ferment, I think olive oil ferments when you cook it with high temperatures. It's not really, really, really meant for high temperature cooking. So, so I'll coat the sweet potatoes with a little avocado oil and pink sea salt. I'll put it in the oven at about 350 and cook them till they're done, till they're starting to get tender. And I don't believe in preheating the oven. I conserve everything, water, fuel, everything. So I don't preheat my oven. I try to sneak healthy dark greens in everywhere I can when I cook. So I'm gonna add some kale to this. You barely taste it and it's healthy. You can eat the stems but they're too tough and bitter for me. I don't like them so I take the stems out and just eat the leaves. I'm gonna saute up some onions and a pepper. I just put a little bit of the avocado oil in my cast iron pan and I'm just gonna saute them. Oh, this smells so good already. This is like one of my favorite smells. Don't you just love the smell of 
onions and peppers sauteing. Yum. So garlic powder. Pink sea salt. Some chipotle. I got this on sale recently. So I'll throw some of that in. Just gonna cook it down a little bit till it gets soft. I opened and drained a carrot can of uh, black beans. <clears throat> They're already drained. Sweet potatoes look done. I don't think I have to put them back in the oven. They're gonna be delicious. Cut up an avocado for the topping. I'm going to go ahead and throw in the beans. The onion, see, they're nice and uh, they're nice and soft. <coughs> Ooh, the pepper. Nice and soft. I'll go ahead and throw in the beans. Cook those up. I'm going to throw in about a cup of uh, sweet potatoes and the kale just to warm it up. I don't want to cook the kale a whole lot. Look at that. Looks delicious. I'm going to throw a couple tortillas on top. They're frozen. I keep them in the freezer because I don't use them that enough. I'll just throw two on top. <clears throat> What's left of my Daiya cheese. I don't have much left. <laughs> Not much at all. So I'm going to throw on some uh, uh, nutritional yeast, which is high in B12, good for vegans. I'm going to throw that on top. It's got a really cheesy flavor. I'm going to put the lid on and let it steam. I'll let it steam for a few minutes. I don't have enough cheese to put on top, but I made some cashew cream a few days ago, which is soaked cashews. You soak them in water for eight hours, and then you blend them up. And I just add water so that uh, I can do multiple things with one batch. You can add a little vinegar to it or lemon juice, and that makes like a sour cream. You can add a little sugar to it, and that makes uh, like a dessert uh, icing or uh, whipped cream. So... Uh, this is just plain, so it's just gonna be, it's just gonna add a creamy texture, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in since I'm low on cheese. Oh, look at that. It looks better if there's a whole bunch of melted cheese on top. You know what, actually I think I'll add the cashew cream on top when I put it in my bowl. If I had some cilantro, I'd throw cilantro on top. And if I had salsa, I would throw a little salsa on top, but I don't have either. But you know what? I do have some cherry tomatoes. So I think I'll cut up some cherry tomatoes just to add to the top for a garnish. And uh, that's it. That's dinner. Easy, huh? Sweet potato, black bean, stovetop casserole. It didn't look as good as it usually did. <laughs> it usually does because usually I put a ton of cheese on it. And I was kind of, it's kind of hard to cook when I have the camera on, cook and film at the same time. So, uh, Mmm, that's delicious.
thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed another beautiful day in leadville colorado stay tuned because i went for some hikes and i found the lake we have some beautiful lake views we found a river and just a lot more beauty you know spending the next couple of weeks in leadville colorado so stay tuned subscribe below if you haven't already be sure to check your notifications so that you get alerted every time i put out a new video and also just make sure you're subscribed because a lot of people seem to get unsubscribed and uh i enjoy this and i hope you did too thanks for hanging out with me i will see you next time in the meantime be happy be free and be kind i'll see you soon